So guys, today uh, going to the Kawasaki showroom. Uh, basically, they called me because uh, there is a launch of uh, Z900, and uh, most likely I'll be getting the bike for the first trial ride. Basically, so let's see how things go from here. So as of now, today. It's quite overcast, so quite cloudy for a change. It's quite hard to drive and <laughs> catch the camera together at the same time. So look at the clouds. It's quite cloudy. And so going towards there is no Kawasaki showroom by the way. I just checked it out on Google and found that. There is no Kawasaki showroom, so I call the Kawasaki guys uh, only to find out that uh, they have the bikes somewhere else. So they have sent me the location on WhatsApp. I'll go ahead and check it out. So they asked me not to shoot the bikes arrival. So basically, the brand new bikes are coming in, and uh, it'll be in a truck or something like that. I don't know. So they don't want me to shoot that. However, uh, they have got. I'm not sure about the registration part either. So let me see how things go. If in case I get to ride it, good enough. So it's the beginning of uh, Ramzan. So from my side, happy Ramzan to all my friends, and hopefully you guys fast properly without any issues. Now, having said all this. Uh, I am a previous uh, Kawasaki owner. Basically, I used to own a Kawasaki Z800 in Chennai. So, for me, it's going to be uh, when I ride the bike, it's going to be something like uh, comparison for me, my personally, with my Z800, so that uh, I know exactly how the bike feels. So, I would really not risk. crashing into someone while driving look at the traffic so really i'll catch you guys after some time once i am in the showroom hey guys i just uh, had a quick ride on a z900 this is the bike i'll just show it to you so so this is the bike uh, this is the z900 the new edition that has come in and this replaces z800 and i was the lucky one to actually ride this bike uh, and i was the first one so guys riding this uh, z900 finally i get my hands on it well uh, in terms of uh, looks the only ugly thing that i don't really like about this is 
the uh, the front gauge it looks like an ER6 and to be very honest and I hate that bike and uh, this is smooth man nice oh the shift is smooth oh this is just nice dude okay for those who those who didn't know I was a previous owner of uh, Z800 and this is really smooth and so flickable and uh, when I ride this bike oh this is nice and that's a Ninja 650 I think This is so flickable and the brakes are sharp. <laughs> this is too good, dude. Oh. And these brakes are really, really good. Uh, however, I didn't really like the tires. The rear tire is actually not giving me that much of a grip. I'm not sure which one is it. I guess this is Dunlop tire or something like that. But then I'm not at all getting any grips. Cops, 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 cops. Aram se chalo ji. Bye bye. Oh boy, this is really good, dude. Oh, freak. Head away. And the bike actually feels really light. Very lightweight and so flickable. Let me show you. Look at this. Oh, man. I'm falling in love again. That horn sucks. <laughs> that horn sucks. <laughs> it sounds like a bloody triumph, man. And that sound of uh, inline four, nothing beats that sound, dude. And uh, though the bike looks bulky, it doesn't really feel that heavy, to be very honest. And uh, uh, it's it's really really smooth. CC rather than a Z800. I can't even compare it with a Z800. And this horn sucks. And the gear shift is silky smooth, dude. But I am not liking the tires. It's not really giving me that much of a grip. Oh, this is so flickable. Trust me, this might be heavy bike, but it doesn't feel like heavy. Oh, dude. Oh, did you just see that? I could literally drop an anchor with these front brakes and the rear brakes. Lovely, dude. 
I'm really loving this bike. Give way to ambulance. Uh, but these indicators that you see in the front, they look somewhat odd. And we don't have any windshield in front which is uh, quite bothering to be very honest because uh, all that wind is actually coming on my face it's simply like as if i'm riding a pulsar or something literally i'm getting all this wind on my face so i have to go a little slow because cops will be on the left side let me see no cops So the rev limiter is at 10,500 rpm I guess. Let me shift down. Oh boy, these brakes are too good dude. I'm loving these brakes. First gear, 10,500 rpm is the cutoff. Oh boy. This is nice. So this is more like a first ride, kind of a first impression video that I'm shooting. Hat jao bhai. So in case I'm uploading this, probably I'll be uploading after a couple of weeks. Uh, I, this is by no means a full review. <laughs> this is good. I am loving this. That sound. Inline 4 sound. I can do this all day man. This is like a biker's dream therapy or kind of a thing. That inline 4 sound. Oh nice. Did you guys just see that? I guess that was a Maserati. I don't know. I'll check out the video later. But I am actually enjoying this bike at this point. I don't care if it is a Maserati or not. Well, that's about it with regards to this quick ride. I loved it. I would really encourage if you guys can actually have a look at this bike, come over to Shavarle showroom in Banjara Hills. Basically, look at the difference over here. So, when it is compared with uh, the Z800, the lights are different. The design, the total design is actually different and the feel of it was totally different the way I rode it and the best part is you are getting a metal tank. So basically I am getting a metal tank so that I can actually you know uh, put the tank bag if required. So this is the dash. Look at this. This looks really simplistic at the same time it is giving you all the information that is required and you can actually see on the videos as well. And one thing I really loved were the mirrors, the way it is actually designed. You can actually see everything through this, these mirrors. And uh, overall the design features, really good. I really liked it. The way it sounds and the way it feels, the slipper clutch and stuff like that. So I'll be giving you all the details with regards to this bike. You have to contact uh, the manager over here, the Kawasaki manager. His name is uh, Vignesh and his number is 9885. Five zero one two three four. So please remember the number. I will definitely go ahead and post it below on the link. And this is the bike, guys. So how how do you think it really looks like? I mean, this is beautiful bike overall.